In today's video, we're gonna learn how to start fine tuning Google AI models. Within Google AI Studio, we have the ability to create prompts, templates, and a ton of other stuff. In this video though, we're gonna learn how to tune a model. Therefore, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to tune a model with a structured prompt and a import file. Sound good? Let's go ahead and jump into today's video. Welcome back y'all. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to start fine tuning Google AI models. Now your first question might be Corbin, what do you mean tune a model or fine tune? What this does in this context is that we train a model. So when we access the API endpoint or alternatively use it in a user interface like this, we expect very specific types of outputs. So in this video, we're going to go over two different examples here and it's going to make a lot more sense. The first example here is going to be a business that wants to create a social media caption generator, but be tailored to their brand. Now I've done a video like this in the past, but with OpenAI and ChatGPT, and you can check it out right there to see how to fine tune the ChatGPT model. But in this video, we're going to fine tune Gemini. No, not the star sign Gemini. Are you a Leo? Are you a Virgo? <laughs> Are you a Scorpio? Let's go ahead and get going here. Now what's great about Google AI Studio is that it's free to start. So I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description down below. Go ahead and check it out. But let's go ahead and create a tune model here. Let's start off by creating a structured prompt. We're gonna go ahead and simply click create a structured prompt. I'm also gonna leave a link to their FAQ and guide. So if you have any other questions that I may not address in this video, you can check it out as well. Create structured prompt. We are in. Let's go edit our title here. We're gonna go ahead and say caption generator. Boom. Now comparative to fine tuning a ChatGPT model, which actually required us to make a JSON file within VS code, we can actually do the fine tuning within the UI of Google AI Studio. So it's a little bit easier. All it requests us to do is simply add a potential user input and the expected output. Now we have a couple of different options of how to add this kind of information. The second option you're gonna see in this video is just simply doing it through a Google Sheet or CSV. This option though, we're just gonna manually add our inputs and outputs. Here's an example of a possible input and a possible output. Notice the input is cake company and the output is sweet moments, cake emoji, hashtag cake love, hashtag sweet treats. Therefore, the purpose of this fine tune model for this use case is I'm gonna provide a company type. So for example, cake company. And then the actual output should consist of a caption, one emoji and two hashtags. And how we're gonna train it to understand to only do one emoji and only do two hashtags is we're gonna provide 20 different examples here. Now, Google has identified the best way to go about this is to provide 500 examples. But for that context, you're better off uploading a file than you know manually inputting each one. Now, before I add the rest of these data points, because I don't think you wanna be there for that, we're gonna go ahead and look at our settings here. Now, when looking at our settings, we have a couple things to take note of here. First off, choosing our type of model. If you're familiar with OpenAI, think of ChatGPT 3.5, ChatGPT 4. They have their own versions of models as well. Now, if you want a more in-depth video on the models, the pricing, and everything above the board there, check out my Google AI Studio video that's like nine minutes of everything you need to know about this platform. For now, though, we're just going to stick with 1.5 Flash. Token count is the amount of tokens that are currently being expended through the input and the output. Now, temperature is important, but it seems within our structured prompts, as of now, we can't actually adjust it. I want you to think of temperature as a creativity metric. Basically, the higher temperature we have, the more creative the AI gets, the more crazy it gets. You get some pretty crazy answers here that aren't really structured or maybe not aligned with what you want. The lower temperature it is, the more consistent it is at scale on outputs. What's good here though, is since we're doing a structured prompt anyways, we don't have to worry too much about this because we're basically telling it how to interact with inputs. Now we have some other options here, but for now it's not too important for what we're trying to do today. Let's add the rest of our data points or examples in this context. I went ahead and added 10 different examples here of ways I want the input to be and the output. To look at a few, fitness trainer, no pain, no gain, fitness goals, workout, dog grooming service, positively perfect, hashtag dog grooming, hashtag pet care. Notice how each one, has an emoji and two hashtags. That's the whole use case and purpose of this specific fine tune. We want to make sure and it ensures that these show up on every single caption we do when we put the input of a company type. Once we put in enough examples and we're satisfied, let's see if it works. I'm gonna simply put in real estate agency and let's check out the output here. We should see one emoji and two hashtags. Generate response. There we go. We got home sweet home an emoji, and two hashtags. This shows you the power of fine-tuning a model. I'm gonna go ahead and hit run down here as well, and we can run it as many times as possible. So it worked again, another one, another one, another one. No, I'm not DJ Khaled, but there we go. It shows consistency, and it shows it's working every single time. Therefore, we don't have to worry too much about temperature in this context. Now, in order for us to actually save that structured prompt, we need at least 20 examples. So let me go ahead and add those. I've gone ahead and saved 20 different examples here. Let's go ahead and save it. Now, what I've noticed in the short term is that the actual button to save doesn't really seem to work. So a workaround for this is hit these ellipses and save as copy. Now that I've saved it as a copy, I can actually reference it in my new tune model here. Come in right here, copy of caption generator. Here we go. 
showing me the first example that we saw earlier. Proceed to choose your tuned model name. I'm just going to say my business caption. I know, very creative. Short term, we can only fine tune one type of model. For advanced settings, we're just going to go ahead and leave this default. Once that's all set up, all we need to do is hit tune. We are loading in. What you'll notice is that the way that it will save it in your library is as a tune model comparative to a structured prompt or a chat prompt. Once it's done, it's going to simply be ready to go and updated just now. Click it. You'll get a summary of how it tuned the model. And from here to start using it, hit use a structured prompt and we can start using our trained model. Now using the structured prompt is to use it within Google AI Studio to do a little bit more testing, see if it works well. If you wanna use it in the context of an API endpoint within your software or automation, you're gonna use the model ID here. This right here is gonna allow us to access this model at an API endpoint. On top of that, notice how the actual name for the model ID has the name we added earlier. So keep that in mind. There you go. Now you successfully know how to fine tune models within Google AI Studio. Make sure you leave a like, it's completely free. And let's go ahead and see our last step here, which is uploading a CSV to create one. For this example, I went ahead and just created a CSV here with the idea being the input is a state and the output will be a little caption, three hashtags and an emoji associated with it. Now you also have the ability to use a currently existing Google Sheet or any file within your drive. I'm gonna simply just drag and drop my CSV. Once I've added my CSV here, it's gonna ask for a little bit of formatting. Pretty simple because we actually formatted it in the CSV. All we need to do is this. This is the input column. So I'm gonna say new input column. And then this is the output column, new output column. Once we do that, we can input our 30 current examples. Now, optimally, this is how you're gonna upload 500 as you would not want to manually put in 500 entries. Import examples, currently loading. Once we've imported the data, we just follow the same steps I showed earlier and you got your fine tuned model, but based off imported data now. That covers everything we can do when it comes to fine-tuning models and Google AI Studio. Now, there is other features on this platform that I cover in that other video I referenced earlier. So go ahead and check that out. Also, do a ton of other stuff on this channel other than just this. So make sure to check that out, and I'll see you in the next video. I went ahead and let YouTube do its thing and choose the videos to see next. I have no clue what they are. Probably pretty good. That's my face, and I'll see you in the next video.